All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting out here at the Milton County Sportsman's Association. And uh, besides 3,000 emails that I get a day, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I'm having to deal with on the upcoming uh, Fall Brawl three gun events. One of the guys asked about three gun competition stuff. And I thought it'd be interesting just to kind of show you some of the things that I'm having to deal with right now. One is the testing out of these guys right here. This is, and I bought these prior to the big mess over there. I don't even have a manufacturer on here. Hmm. Well, whatever. Uh, Palmetto State Army to the rescue. Got these guys right here and ordered 500 rounds of this 77 grain. This is a precision rounds. Enough of that. Uh, considering or concerning the rifle, let's talk about that. And I'm going to ramble on a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I was uh, shortcoming of when I did the Memorial 3 gun and a couple other ones is the mag, drum mag, this guy right here from uh, the D60 from the guys over there at Magpul. It's interesting that I bought one a long time ago, but I think I, I misplaced it. And I'm sitting there going, well, I need one. So when the fall brawl comes up, you need a 60 round mag for certain stages where you're gonna have a burn down. And then ordered it. I think it was $129, can't even remember who I bought it from. But then while my kids were cleaning out one of the closets in my house, guess what? We found the one that was missing. So I got two of those. So if you're gonna be doing a burn down stage, not a bad thing to have. The more economical way to moving along is the 40 round mag, which you can see right here. And in one of the other things that I did was I purchased the, uh, this interlocking deal so that you could run two 30 round mags. And this is pretty cool in the event that maybe you're doing a stage where long distance shooting, you wanna put in some 77 grain on one side and you gotta burn down, you don't wanna waste. These things cost a little bit of money. So you go ahead and you put these guys right here in the 55 grain, 77 grain, 55 grain. Another thing that I do is for 77 grain, I'll run them in these 20 round mags like this. Also, I take a little paint pen and I will label what weight or what grain that round is uh, just so I know because I have a stack of those uh, MTM cans with this foam inserts and I just reach in there and I pick them up. And then what I do also is I preload all of my rifle mags for the competition. When I get done with a mag, I just poke it in there, but it go the opposite direction. And I know that's been previously used. All right, what else we got? That covers the rifle one to eight scope. We talked about that stuff before. You've seen that, but that's typical of what's I carry for the rifles part of it. Now for the pistol, uh, because I'm shooting open class, Army Craft sent this uh, muzzle brake out and the barrel, and we're gonna install the trigger, probably do that tonight, okay? Um, running, right now we're running the Grey Guns trigger system, which is not bad, but one of the things I did to this pistol, besides oh, putting the muzzle brake on it, is I added monster tape texture. <laughs> uh, I will do a video on this too, because I've got, I can't remember the uh, name of the, the other grit, uh, grip tape that you put on these things. But I found out this is a little aggressive, but with the use of gloves, it is really nice. I mean, honestly, you ain't gonna drop it like that, man. Uh, one of the other things I did add was grip tape texture stuff along the mag well down here because that is one of the areas where you get a little sweaty. And I wanted that little extra grip. And I'll tell you what, with the Delta Point Pro that the boys over there at Optics Planet sent back out to me, because there's one previous that it's broke. Get out of here, right? Um, <laughs> two and a half MOA or two MOA on this thing, and really and truly was hitting the man-sized targets at 150 yards with this guy. Under competition stands for it. All right, so what we're gonna do, we got this guy we're gonna test out. We're gonna compare the trigger systems. All right, thanks to the guys over there. Armorcraft, also, by the way, 5% discount uh, KB32 TAC at both Armorcraft as well as Optics Planet, okay? I'm not big into doing a whole bunch of videos. I've been too busy as of late, but we're getting there. back into the swing of things. So, uh, shotguns. Now, I shoot open division, which means you can shoot this guy right here, 20 round mags, you've seen it. Uh, in the last competition, my riser for this guy right here, this is Sig Romeo XL3. This thing, uh, the riser that I had on it broke. And on the second to the last stage of the day, I finally figured that out. Uh, so 
I was able to, at some point, get this thing off and put it on top of this guy right here. This is a, a, another type of riser. <laughs> Probably not be able to see this. Let me lighten that thing up a little bit. Well, now that we got it brightened up a little bit so you can see, I, I thought I'd bring this out. This is the 20 round mag. We've done some tests on it. As you can see, it, it looks really, really cool. Uh, so anyway, long story short, the Romeo 3XL, uh, the riser broke on it. I was shooting all over the place. The thing I couldn't figure it out until after that evening. I want to give a big shout out to Bill Wilkes, who gave me a toolkit. Unfortunately, when I decided to go ahead and get another riser, I stripped out the through bolt screw on this thing. So I got to either drill it out, figure it out, or do whatever. But in the meantime, I went ahead and threw on the uh, 510C from Holosun, and I just got to get it figured out. And we need to zero it in to make sure she's on board. I'm going to do a little special thing. I'm going to use the five round mag for the slug. So if you got a, a slug target at the end of a stage, you can actually just put this in your pocket, bring it in there. Boom, like that. Uh, what else? Hearing protection. There's a lot of stuff that's going on with that. We got a couple different things from the guys over at uh, ISO Tunes, and we'll be running through those. All right, real quickly, that was it, man. Magazines, couplers, stuff, grip tape. It's all fun until uh, the beeper goes off. So with that, y'all be good. KB32, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Let's get to it. We'll do some shooting here. <laughs> y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.